Right, we're here today um, with Maisie Cole, who's the head of the Community Ambassador Programme at our energy partner, Fusion for Business. Um, and Maisie's going to give us a run through of some of the help and assistance that's available um, to clubs at the moment. Um, so Maisie, I'll hand over to you and we'll, uh, we'll get going. Yeah, thanks, Helen. Um, so as you mentioned, we're Fusion for Business. Um, we're a cost consultancy specialising in energy management and net zero strategies. So I'll just run through a short presentation on kind of fusion for business as a as a whole um, and then kind of specifically for sports clubs and and what we do and how we try and help. Um, so we like to think that we are kind of the trusted champions of the energy industry in what is normally quite a typical uh, volatile and untrusted market. And um, we try and stand out from the crowd a little bit with a very honest and open and kind of transparent approach. Um, we are trusted by kind of a, a lot of partners regionally and nationally. Um, I'll touch on a couple of them, um, but just kind of keep it quite simple. Um, the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, um, which is basically the government department um, for the energy as a whole. Um, they actually gave us funding to um, back our tomorrow solution, which I will touch on a little bit more information later. Um, and then there's also the Financial Conduct Authority on there as well, where we achieved FCA accreditation. Um, so basically means that we're regulated with full financial services, um, something that kind of hasn't always been apparent in the end industry and it kind of puts customers at, at the forefront and protects them. And then, of course, having trusted partners kind of such as the North England FA on board kind of highlights the work that we do with a variety of sports clubs and how we do like to stand out from the crowd and, and put the customers at the, the heart of everything that we do. So kind of by using our FCA, FCA accreditation and the investment from Bayes and, and things like that, um, we kind of developed a range of uh, business energy solutions that help both businesses and sports clubs with their energy needs. So we do have kind of a three service outgoing kind of, if you like, um, we look to improve today, so that's your energy management. Um, we also help to look to prepare for tomorrow, so that's looking into the future, the net zero strategies and things like that, and then rectifying any wrongdoings of yesterday, so revenue recovery and rewriting kind of wrongs of the past. Um, but we feel kind of the way the market is at the minute that our tomorrow solution and looking in particular the work that we can do with the Northumberland, Northumberland FA and the clubs that are affiliated with them, um, that we can kind of offer that. So I will touch on that in a little bit more detail to kind of give a full overview of that. Um, I will run through the today and the yesterday as well, just to kind of give a, a whole of what it is that we do. Um, but our today's solution quite simply is our energy procurement. So we kind of understand the challenges of being kind of underserved on basic energy needs. Um, all the businesses and the sports clubs that we work with do get a a uh, dedicated Fusion for Business account manager, so they'll secure kind of the best solutions for the club um, kind of across all energy kind of services. Obviously, as times have changed over the last 12 months in the energy market, um, we are offering all clubs who are affiliated um, a, a free bill audit and a free bill review. Um, that basically allows us to do a bit of a deep dive into your current bills, make sure that you're not being overcharged for any VAT, CCL, even on your unit rates, make sure there's no deemed or default rates on there and estimate bill, estimated billing as well. Um, it's dead simple for us to do it. We'll it, kind of do a 48 hour turnaround. We receive a copy of the bill um, we sign, you sign a letter of authority, just basically a permission slip saying that you give us access to look at your bill and we complete a full, full bill audit, which basically just makes sure that everything is as it should be. Um, and then following on from that, we can also kind of give advice and um, kind of best time to renew, best time to kind of change your contract. And we use expert third party uh, data and statistics, which forecast kind of what the 12, next 12 months look like. And then we can kind of pinpoint when it's going to be looking like you could make maybe make changes in your bills. So that's kind of today as a whole and kind of energy procurement and just kind of your standard energy management of of your accounts. Um, as I touched on earlier, uh, the yesterday's solution is all about revenue recovery. recovery. As you kind of know, the, the energy market is complex. Energy bills are complex. It, it's just the way it is. It's the way it's always been. Um, that's why a lot of businesses and sports clubs in the UK do use an energy broker um, just to kind of support them buy their energy. 
Um, but kind of as there's been a lack of regulation and, and direction around this for so many years, a lot of businesses and sports clubs have fallen foul to kind of broken mis mispractice. Um, our research kind of suggests that many brokers have kind of not adhered to the to the laws around it. So the law of agency and, and contract law. Um, kind of as a as a short kind of simple way to put it, basically in the last 10 years, if you've used a broker um, who didn't disclose any commissions, then you are entitled to claim them back. Um, all you would need is a copy of the contract that you signed and confirmation that you did use a broker or a third party. And then that gets sent off to a third party that we use and they look into it all for you and see if whether or not there's any money that you can you can claim back. Um, so that's the, the, the yesterday solution. And then the tomorrow one is what I wanted to kind of touch on and what we're working with a lot of sports clubs at the minute kind of based on. Um, as I mentioned, it is all about energy as a service. So energy reduction and, and kind of helping your club prepare for the future. Kind of especially given the kind of the current crisis and all the advice kind of out there is basically try and reduce your consumption if you need to say if you want to save money. Obviously, with prices spiking, it, it's that's the only way you can reduce your kind of your, your costs. Um, so as we kind of have a look at how we can add value to your club and, and help your club kind of prepare for tomorrow, and there's been kind of, as I mentioned, the, the current price increases and the cost of inaction. Um, it's actually it's estimated that business, businesses and sports clubs waste around 30% of their energy usage a year. Um, and it works out about nine, nine billion pounds uh, per annum. So what kind of we try and combat this, um, especially with sports clubs, um, when you're using things like LED fl uh, floodlights, which we can change to LED and, and things like that. And um, there's a lot of kind of simple changes that can be made, but it's just kind of wh where do you start? Um, so we came up with a solution which we did get the government funding for. Um, it was basically to implement a, ra a range of debt free, risk free, cost carbon and energy saving measures. Um, kind of given again the kind of the current crisis has never been a better time to really look at energy efficient projects and obviously reducing the consumption um, to ultimately ultimately save money. So this the way we do it is we do provide three different routes of payment um, kind of there's so many different things out there, solar panels, LED lighting, and things like that. It's, it's one way to start, but also the, the capital app, the capital that it costs. Um, so we do have different solutions for that. Um, our energy as a service solution, which again we, is what we got the, the grant for, um, is basically a, a, ze a zero debt, zero risk, zero capex project. Right. Um, so <clears throat> kind of like I say, <clears throat> um, we basically help clubs get to net zero or fund those projects with no upfront cost to the business uh, to the business or the club so what we do is we combine all energy related costs under one trusted and transparent contract so that just be a normal energy contract um, and we'd implement the cost of the projects in there so these savings are backed by an insurance guarantee and um, to ensure that you achieve 100 percent of the savings as well and there's no need for any capital outlay and um, so it's really good if you're kind of wanting to make a change and you don't really know where to start and you haven't got any any money to do so we can fund the cost of the project through the contract and you just pay your normal energy bill as you would. If a business or a, or a club has got the money and they're looking to pay for it themselves, obviously we can help get them. We can normally do three or four quotes um, when they're looking at different things and they can fund obviously that themselves. Um, and then we also, given this, given that we kind of work with so many grant platforms and national governing bodies and local governing bodies, we also work a lot with grants and funding options, um, whether that be finance or, or grants as well. Um, but what we do as we kind of go on the journey is we pro provide kind of a clear breakdown um, of the benefits and obviously any considerations you might need to pay for as well. And a combination um, of payments can be made. So there's been a lot of cases where there's grants out there, but they're only for 70 percent of the cost of the project. So then we could look to fund maybe another 30 percent through the energy contract, through the energy as a service, or the club might be able to contribute 30 percent themselves and things like that. So regardless of kind of which payment pathway you choose, it's, it's what's best for the club. And obviously you'll re receive full support and kind of account management from, from the team on that as well. So the way the kind of the, the process works, um, I won't kind of run through as to why kind of choose us. Um, it's just kind of <laughs> touched on that as I've, as I've gone anyway. Um, but the kind of process that we follow, um, it's, a, it's a six step uh, procedure. Um, we basically, we do it as that's that's what we've reviewed. That's what works. Um, the first stage is the desktop energy optimization report or DUR. Um, we're offering three complimentary ones to all clubs at the moment. It's basically a 30 question um, document 
which is issued to your club, you fill it out to the best of your ability. That alongside a copy of your current bills, so we can pull out your consumption and your current end dates. And that basically gets put into a system and it pulls a report of to what would be most efficient and effective for your club. And then it kind of starts you on your on your journey. And it's a, a bit of a simple net zero plan in, in what looks like what it looks like for your club. And if it's even worth doing a project, obviously, given the crisis and given the, the rates and things like that, it's always going to be worth doing it pretty much at the minute. But it kind of outlines what would be beneficial to your club and what, what you can kind of make a start with. Then based on that, we then get someone to come on site and they kind of if, if are more accurate with the, the kind of costings and, and the, the quotations and things like that based from the report. Um, and then we kind of use the data and the diagnosis from those steps and we provide kind of a comprehensive net zero plan. Um, that's completely bespoke to your club and it's based on everything that the, the findings in step one and two, if you like. Um, at that point, you then decide if you kind of want to go ahead with the project um, and if you kind of how you're going to fund the del deliverables um, kind of across one of those three payment options that I, I, I mentioned or kind of obviously a combination as well. Um, we will then administer the project as well. Um, so that'll be working with third parties. So if it be LED lighting, solar panels, UV charging, it's kind of a full range, again, specific to your club, um, depending on that. And then we um, obviously monitor it the whole way through. Um, that isn't kind of the last step in our journey. We kind of want that to essentially be the first because that's the job done. And then we, we look what else we can do and, and make sure everything in that six step process is working. So if you like, if, if for example, if we did a LED floodlighting project, we'd follow those three, uh, them six steps, and then it might be that we do an internal one as well. So that'd be the same six steps as well. We don't want it to kind of be a, a constant kind of partnership, if you like. Um, and obviously kind of doing that, it will capture the initial results and make sure everything's as it where it should be and, and everything like that. Um, so that's kind of the three core services kind of as, as a whole that we offer um, to businesses, sports clubs, everyone kind of across the UK. Um, some kind of fit into more than one and, and that's not a problem. Um, there's, there's obviously a lot of crossover and it, it's a lot kind of comprehensive of what we do. Um, I've tried to kind of keep it as, as kind of ground level as I can, because like I say, every club is different. Um, but what I would also like to touch on is just the community ambassador program that we run at, at Fusion for Business and how we kind of have partnerships with like the nat uh, with national governing bodies and, and yourselves and things like that. Um, because the community ambassador program is solely for sports clubs in the UK. Um, we essentially signed a club up to the, to the community ambassador program completely free of charge and there's kind of no commitment to it. Um, but what we do is then we then looked if we can help the club across one of those three services. So again, the today, tomorrow and yesterday identify the, the club savings initially. They can kind of see how we work and, and what it's like to work with us. And then if they refer any business to us, they then get a share of the, the savings. Um, so any money that we make, we then share with the club because the club have referred it. So it's just quite a easy referral process and it's a way for the club to kind of generate a, a kind of new revenue stream, really. Um, kind of clubs get scared a little bit when you kind of saying asking for sponsors or if there's any businesses involved with the club and things like that. But it, it's very relaxed. It's very if you know businesses or there's businesses involved with the club who are struggling, we'll have a chat with them and see if we can help them in any way. We don't kind of ask for a set amount of referrals a month or anything like that. It's just kind of if you know anyone, then we can help and you're going to get cash back for it as well. So you kind of get it, get out of it what you put in. And um, I have just included a case study in here just so you can see how how it works um, kind of across the board. So this is from uh, one of the clubs that we worked with up in concert and we worked with them across our tomorrow solution. So that was upgrading the pitch and the car park uh, lights. So we upgraded them to LED lightings and it identified £57,000 worth of savings. We then obviously followed the six step process and, and we were implementing that for the club. Um, and then the club referred two businesses into us that were kind of well connected within the club. And I think one of them was a sponsor and one was someone that someone knew. Um, we then obviously saved the club, um, saved the businesses, sorry, um, the money. And then we gave £25,000 back to the club for them to reinvest for as kind of a their commission for the referral, referral, if you like. And then kind of on the back of that, we also sponsored the club for an additional £1,000 for the season. So when we work with clubs, it is kind of a full range of, of things that we do and it isn't a one fit all, but that's just kind of a case study kind of showing how, how it does work and um, kind of in practice, if you like. Um, and then I think that, the yeah, that's about all really. I think the summary is for ourselves is 
keeping it simple is we'll, we can do a free bill review for all clubs and um, make sure that you're not overpaying for anything that you shouldn't be. That will come with the free advice on kind of when's best to buy in the next 12 months. The free, the free desktop energy optimization report, which is basically outlining what projects could be beneficial to your club and again, getting you on that first step of your journey, looking to reduce your consumption, looking to save your money. And then also looking if anyone's interested to sign up to the community ambassador program, if they might know some businesses or there's quite a few sponsors that they have or, or anything like that. And they think it's a good way for the, the club to kind of generate a bit of a new income stream, then I'd obviously be more than happy to help as well. Um, I do appreciate there's quite a lot of information to take in there. So I'll obviously share the presentation out with you, Helen, and things like that. And I'm sure there'll be some questions and, and things. Yeah, no, that's great. I think that's a really, a really good overview of, of, of what you do, really. And I suppose it's it's about that first step, isn't it? Um, you know, getting that bill review and, and the, the initial report and then really seeing what the potential might be from there. Um, so that's great. Well, we'll put that out to all of our clubs um, and then hopefully um, people will be in touch with you to take advantage of that. Yeah, perfect. What I'll do is um, when I send out the I'll send out the presentation and my details as well, and I'll just send the link to my calendar. So if anyone does want to book in a meeting that way, they can or they obviously have my contact details as well. And I'll just give them both options. That's great. That's lovely. Thanks very much uh, Thanks, for your time.